we're not thinking about what to cook for them or senior members of our community, there was one thing that immediately sprung to mind. It's the only dish that gets complained about when I take it off the menu, and that is uh, lamb's fry and bacon. It's something that a lot of people from older generations really, really love and appreciate, but I think uh, my generation's really just skipped over the top of it, and I'd hate for it to disappear forever. So hopefully today, I can get a few more people involved with it. To begin with though, we need to get our potatoes cooking. So when you're cooking your potatoes, it's really important to make sure you start them off in cold water. Uh, some people think it's better to throw them into boiling water, but it's not, because when you bring them up in cold water, it draws out all the starch, means they're not going to be gluggy, and uh, means they're going to cook a lot more evenly throughout as well. So for the rest of the dish, what you're going to need is 300 grams of lamb's fry. This is enough for two people. Two rashes of bacon quarter of an onion, some sage, and a clove of garlic, some olive oil, and just some salt and pepper. So we've just got our pan on high now, and we're gonna put a bit of olive oil in. All I've done here is marinate it in a bit of um, garlic and herbs, and I'll put a little bit of lemon juice in there as well, just to help break it down and make it tender. I've marinated this for around an hour, so into the pan it goes. It does have quite a pungent odor to it, but um, as it cooks, that'll settle down a bit. It also shrinks up quite a bit too, so don't be thinking you're having a too big a serve now because it'll be half the size once it's cooked. So while they're caramelizing away, it'll give us a chance to uh, chop up the rest of our ingredients. You don't need to go too crazy on the, uh, the dice, just a nice rough one will do. And as you chop these up, just chuck them straight in the pan. All right, now for our garlic and our sage. So just very rough again with your sage. If you don't have sage, you can use any herbs you like. Sage has got a really um, good flavor with the lamb's fry, but rosemary and oregano and thyme, most of those strong herbs will go very well with it. So just slice your garlic up now, nice and thin. Now we'll add some salt and pepper. Some imaginary salt at this point in time, but if you've got a salt shaker that works, it'll probably go better for you. It's a nice cracked pepper. And before we move on to our bacon, I'm just gonna turn these over now. You can see quite a lot of liquids come out of them now. That's all gonna become part of our sauce though, so that's all good. So now for our bacon. I like to put the bacon through the sauce. Some people will just cook it off and put it on top or anything, but I think we're much better to cook it off with it. So don't cut it up too fine, just uh, some nice thick lardons, I think we'll call them. You don't want it to disappear. In that goes. People find it funny when I uh, get a little bit queasy about offal, but I'll always try everything, but I wouldn't exactly call this comfort food for myself, but I can certainly appreciate the flavour of it. Now to this, I'm just going to get some water. Just about a cup of water will do. You can always use red wine or white wine or maybe some sherry if you want to stick with the uh, old school techniques, but water does the trick just fine. And that's just gonna help lift all that goodness off the bottom of the pan. And we'll also finish cooking our lamb's fry. So now we're just gonna let this cook down and reduce. That'll take about three or four minutes. And then we should have a nice thick sauce and some beautifully cooked lamb's fry. 
So now that that's nearly ready, we can uh, get our potatoes ready. Just very simply, give them a bit of a mush. And this will just be a nice platform for our lamb's fry. So just as quick as you can, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. If you're not watching your diet too carefully, you can get a bit of butter in there as well. So onto the center of your plate. Now we can just grab our lamb's fry. That's probably enough for one. On goes our sauce and our good bits. So, lamb's fry and bacon. It's an old dish, but you know the old saying, don't knock it until you've tried it. Coming up next, I'm gonna put a new twist on an old classic, bread and butter pudding. But uh, we need to take a break, because I wanna get stuck into this, because it smells awfully good.